the question that I'm getting a lot this time around is how can I get more magic? Now, different people have different specifics. Different people have different ideas of what magic might be. A lot of people are saying, how can I go get a clearer understanding of what my calling is? But it, it varies. How can I go get more love? How can I go get more faith? How can I get my dream job? How can I get that car? How can I get that whatever it is? In general, the feeling is, how can I go get that thing that I don't have, that thing that's going to change me? In other words, how can I go get more magic? And at the risk of sounding a little bit too zen here, the secret to getting it is to stop trying to get it. And here's what I mean when I, when I say that. You're never going to exceed your fundamental assumption. You're never going to get past the key paradigm that you start with because that's your view of the universe and you're not really ever going to surprise yourself beyond that. Put a different way. Beyond the words that you say and, and the things that you do, your fundamental prayer is your prayer of intention. If you come at life with the basic assumption that you are empty inside, then everything you say and do and think is going to be colored by that. And as a result, you're never going to be able to fill that hole. More specifically, if you go on a date and your basic idea is, I've got to find somebody, I'm so lonely, this has to be the person, you're going to come off as so desperate that that person will be filling out a restraining order before dinner is over. And the same sort of thing applies to a job interview or buying a car or anything else. And in fact, that attitude of emptiness is the beginning of a lot of really scary things like addiction. So the question of, how can I get more magic? How can I experience that? Isn't really the right question because you see, magic happens all the time. Think about all of the amazing things that have conspired to put you where you are right now. It's just that we don't think of them a lot. Stop thinking about where you're not and start working with where you are. The question isn't, how can I go get more magic? The question is, what am I allowing in my life, what am I putting up with, that's getting in the way of me seeing the potential and the good and the happiness and the growth opportunities that are already there? Let me put that another way. If you were walking through the woods and you saw a burning bush, would your first impulse be, oh, there's the, the voice of the divine, I'm about to have a mystical experience? Or instead, would your first idea be, I had better find a fire extinguisher and contact Smokey the Bear? You really only get what you're ready for. So what are you putting up with that's keeping you from being ready to find new answers? What are you allowing in? My challenge to you this week is to start questioning things. Question your assumptions. Question your, your filters. Question what you're putting up with. Question if what is really equals the way things ought to be. Start thinking about where you are right now and asking yourself if that's really okay with you. And where you're going to be next will begin to take care of itself. The secret to so much is just showing up. And the goal this time around is presence. We're going to talk more about that next week because I've got some questions already in mind that lead into the next part of this whole finding your calling part of the adventure. But in the meantime, keep the questions coming, keep subscribing, keep sharing the video. This is really fun for me and I hope it is for you as well.